welcome to part 14 of the react hooks series in fact this is the last part and we'll continue with our our uh, custom hooks so this is the custom hooks which we created in the previous part in which we moved the use effect function here and then we were using it to in our, in both of our components so let's move ahead and let me close it uh, we will create another uh, component now known as counter one dot js and again we will see the same time of uh, duplicate functionality and then we will move that so we will create two counter one as you might have guessed so r a f c e r a f c e i am doing then comma use state i am doing okay then const count comma set count i am doing and it will be use state zero and then here inside that div and have a s2 count is count okay and then let us uh, have uh, three functions like button increment and it will call uh, on click it will call a function that is increment function then this will be decrement decrement this will be reset this will be reset okay so now let's create these functions const increment equal to an arrow function and it will do set count priv priv count priv count plus one similarly the second one will be decrement and you might have guessed it is minus one and the last one will be reset it will reset it to zero save it counter one remove remove save it so it is incrementing decrementing reset okay so we would want the similar functionality so let's create a counter two also okay so go here copy paste rename counter two okay and then troll b counter two counter two save it counter two So we have two independent counters, but the problem is that we are repeating the code. So again, we will create a new custom hook. 
so this custom hook will be known as use it should start with use as i have told earlier use counter dot js so again it is not a complete react thing so import use state from react and then it will have the function const use counter equal to let me also export it export default use counter okay then actually in this time we, we are going to move all this functionality previous time we didn't move all the functionality but this time we are going to move all the functionality from there to here okay so const let me do one thing it's better to copy it from there it will be easier so let me do one thing let me cut from counter one control x and control v so actually i need it like this only set count increment set previous count decrement reset i just copied this and now what i'm going to do i'm going to return it inside an array so i can return it like this count comma okay this is gone i don't know why count comma increment comma decrement comma <laughs> reset not like this Shit. reset so reset is also done okay and our counter is ready to be used so let us go here go back to account one and let us just use it and so we are passing it as an array so the the reason is that we can use it as a user state. so now you understand how user state is used so let me copy this actually and then just use counter we have to do and like this empty i have to pass okay so we have changed that this one so it is just working perfectly okay now let's do the same thing in the counter too we have to remove everything and actually you can just use this control x and then here just import it save it and it is done so this will also run from here this will also run from here okay so what is the plus point of using this there is another thing of using this this the thing is that we can also change the initial count see we can change like this because we are, we are holding it from there so let me do one thing initial count equal to zero so, so this if nothing is passed then this one will be used so you might have guessed okay so and use state this is not zero this is not hard coded now this is initial count so if you pass this this will be like this so pass this by pass this what do i mean so if you don't pass it will be like this and if you pass it will be like this so let me go here and pass it so we are not passing something here but here we are passing it so let me save it and see by default it is 15 and it is 0 because we are not passing anything so it is taking the default value so like this and it will start from 15 so this is the power of hook
custom hooks so this is how we make custom hooks hope you like this react hook series please like this video and share it and subscribe to my channel this helps me produce videos like this thank you all